Hello YouTube, it's me, Markel Small. Today I'm doing my first ever review of a TV show. I'm doing my Love and Hip Hop Miami Season 1, Episode 3 review. If you have not, please subscribe to this channel. So I've made my little notes with the foolery that I'm about to talk about. So Bobby's with Jeff, and you know, he's um Trina's cousin. Trina ain't supporting me. She ain't helping me with my music career. You know, how can she help you when she can't help herself? Come on, let's be honest. The last hit record we heard was Red Bottoms, and that was, what, six years ago? She need to help herself before she can help you. So Jeff is, you know, Bobby's boyfriend, and Jeff, you know, wants to be seen with him more. He wants to take it serious. He doesn't want to be... In the closet no more supposedly he's tired of being in the closet you know it just don't make sense you know he wants to be low-key but at the same time he wants to be seen you know you're on camera people are recording you there's a whole film you know film crew following you so if you're not comfortable about your sexuality you wouldn't be filming so i feel like this whole shit is bullshit if he really wants to be ready to come on out he would just tell his people if he's not comfortable, he wouldn't be on camera. If you're ready, you would have been said you was ready. You would have let everybody know. If you're not ready, you wouldn't be on the camera. So this shit is full of shit. Um, Pleasure P is, you know, with his little group talking about... I love how he's not in the intro, but Shay's in the intro. You, do you guys catch that? Shay's in the intro, but not Pleasure P. But anyways, he's talking to his group, you know, they apologize how they treated Shay and how things went left. You know, he's Gabby, my ex-girlfriend's coming back from out of town. She's back. Really. So she just so happens to come back when the camera crews are filming. This shit is so fucking scripted. She couldn't come back last year. She couldn't come back two years ago. But now she needs to come back when you're on Love and Hip Hop. Get the fuck out of here. This is something just for a storyline. Um, Malik, you know, this is kind of like Jeff, you know, not comfortable with his sexuality. He hangs out with Michelle because he doesn't want people to know that he's gay. Really, you don't want people to know that you're gay while you on camera filming. You know, this, this stuff is ridiculous. That's why I don't even watch this reality TV stuff. You don't want people to find out that you're gay, but you on TV talking about how you're gay. Get out of here. If you're not that comfortable, you wouldn't be on the show. Next, Prince, you know, girlfriend is calling him. He's ignoring him, talking about, I, I can get any girl I want, you know. You know, when you got to keep on saying that, I thought Prince was the gay one, to be honest. I thought he was gay. Come on, get out of here. You know, and it's so fake how he's ignoring his girlfriend on camera. Like, she's not going to watch the episode and see this shit. This is what I'm talking about. This stuff is so scripted. Like, your girlfriend's not going to watch the show and see that you're ignoring her on purpose. Was well, she going to stay with you after that? She's going to leave. And unless she's stupid, which well, she might be stupid. She might be okay with being ignored. JoJo's dad is telling her, she, I guess she's some girl that runs her dad's family business, and he's telling her he doesn't trust her with money. You guys say all this on camera. And JoJo's telling him on how she's having her opening event and she wants him and mom to be there. And he's saying that him and mom aren't getting along. You know, her scene was really about nothing, you know. It was like, really? This is so boring. Like, this show is boring. Amira, she feels like um, Veronica is disloyal to her. You know, that she's fake. Which she might be fake, you know, because the cameras are rolling and the camera makes you do a lot of different things. So maybe she is fake. But you can't, if you feel like somebody's fake, you do need to let them go. You can't control how somebody feels, you know. Amira, I don't even know if I'm saying her name right. If Veronica, Veronica looks like Gaga to me. She kind of looks like Lady Gaga to me. When I first saw the intro, I said, is that Lady Gaga? Damn, I know she ain't had a song in a minute, but she she made a lot of money. You know, she shouldn't be on the reality show because Lady Gaga is still relevant. Why is she on the show? But then I saw it was Veronica. JoJo has her little opening. No, that's when the mom tells her, you know, that she filed for divorce, you know. We really don't care. We really don't. Like, we really don't care. That's why I had to make my little note cards. 
because this shit was so stupid that I need to make my note cards. And you know, at the event, which we call it, her little event, you know, Joja, what's her name? Joja's event. Amira and Veronica were there. And, you know, they got in a little argument. And then, you know, Veronica left and said, I can do what I want. I can hang who I want to. And then she leaves with Hollywood. But nothing got solved. Um, Shay is at Rick's event. And she hashes it out with, you know, Rick and, you know, the other boys. You know, they hash it out, which there really wasn't no beef to begin with. So, what are you guys hashing out? But, you know, no ill feelings. Everything's good, right? You know, guess who happens to be there? Pleasure P's ex-girlfriend, Gabby. <laughs> really? Why is she there? Why is she there? Like, if you just moved back to town, don't you got some U-Haul trucks to be at? Don't you got some beds you need to be putting in your apartment? Don't you got some TV stands you should be buying for your apartment? Don't you got some jobs that you should be, you know, trying to get since you're back in town? Don't you got some family members you need to be seeing? Don't you got something better to do with your time than go to your ex-boyfriend's bandmates party? I'm like, really? Really? So then, you know, Shay's looking for P. And guess what? She sees him sitting out with his ex-girlfriend drinking having a good time and then this then the show ends i'm like really really this is so corny you know especially for pleasure p to say he's still in love with her like shay's just not gonna watch like like we're watching we're hearing him say this you don't think shay's watching the show really really this stuff is so mona Scott Young, you are making this script a little too scripted. You need to get you some more, you know, writers, storytellers. Call me, write me a check, put me on the payroll so I can make your show relevant. Because what you're doing now, ain't nobody going to be watching this mess. This is so scripted. And I feel like Prince, later in the season, he finally going to come out the closet. He probably dating Trina's cousin or somebody else on the show. But Prince, you can't tell me he you is not gay. Get out of here. So that is Love and Hip Hop Miami, season one, episode three. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.